One of the factors used to identify minerals is their hardness, which means how well they resist being scratched by a harder mineral. So what we're gonna do is go through and show you the steps that we would take to show hardness for the minerals. This is talc. This is listed as number one on your list. With talc, it's one of the softest minerals, and if you notice that even my fingernail will leave a scratch on it. Yeah. This is number two. It's called selenite. It is also a very soft mineral, and so we can also show that it will scratch with a fingernail. This is called calcite. It's number three on your list. This one we can try with a fingernail, but it really is too hard for my fingernail to leave a scratch. So for the next step, we would try a penny, which is made of copper, and we'll find that if we press hard enough, you see it leaves a scratch mark. Fluoride is going to be a little harder than the calcite. This time, the penny is not gonna scratch it, but if we take the fluoride, we can scratch the penny. So you see, can you see the scratch? Yes, right there. now we see it, okay. Okay, um, so that means that fluoride is harder than the copper. Then we can also, but we can find something that's harder than the fluoride. If we use a blade, a metal, a metal blade, we can actually then scratch the fluoride. So it takes them, this is gonna be harder than the fluoride is because this, the blade scratches. It. Okay, we're getting a little bit harder. This is called appetite. This is number five on the list. We're gonna find that the blade will also scratch it. Now this one's a little bit harder to see. The great blade will scratch it. Yeah, you can see it. But it's harder. It's harder for me to scratch it with the blade. So that's because this is harder than the fluoride that we scratched before that was a little bit easier to scratch. So we're getting harder each time. This is number six. It's called feldspar. This time, where we, cur we were able to scratch the others with the blade, this one is not going to scratch with the blade. If I press down, if even pressing down on it, I can't get it to scratch. So that means this is harder than the blade. But if I take a piece of glass, the feldspar can scratch the glass. It's, the blade is cu cutting it there. Let me go ahead again. Yeah, you can see right that really well. Okay, so the feldspar is harder than the piece this of glass. This is number seven, it's quartz. And this one is also going to be harder than the glass, but it should scratch the glass a little bit easier because it is harder. Let's see if it does. Very definitely cuts through the glass much easier than the feldspar did. Where we had quartz before, this is number eight. This is topaz. So as the numbers get higher, we're getting harder. So now we're gonna take the topaz and see that it, to prove that it's harder, it will scratch this quartz. But it's a little bit harder to get them to scratch as we get hard, harder and harder. This one doesn't want to leave. Hmm. Okay, are we seeing anything? Not really. Yeah, here it is. Okay, right there. As so we get harder, then they, they are, are harder. And so we're not going to get as easily a scratch as we did before. Number eight again was the topaz. Number nine is called corundum. Corundum is one of the hardest minerals that we have. And we're going to see that it's, it does a pretty good job on scratching the, the topaz. Focus, give it a second. There it goes. Okay, Very so good. then the scratch is right there. Okay. All right, once again, nine was corundum. Number 10, you'll notice that uh, if you see anything in your, if we look at the kit, it's gonna say not in the kit for number 10. Number 10 is a diamond. This happens to be my, in my ring, 
the diamond is there. We talked about in class that diamonds are the hardest diamond. If I could get to the diamond, to the edge of it, it would scratch the corundum because diamond, again, is the hardest mineral that we have. Talk about in your, in your group what can cut or what's going to be able to scratch the diamond. Think about it.